Almost three quarters of Canadians, or 74 percent, support mandatory vaccinations for people who work directly with the public, like transit and healthcare workers. 65 percent say businesses should implement mandatory vaccine plans in their reopening strategies. Canadians also showing concern about reopening the border with the United States. 66% believe that should have been delayed, compared to 18% who said they believe the border should have been opened earlier. And when asked about how to get the economy back on track coming out of the pandemic, the top priorities are lowering income taxes, addressing affordability issues, a universal basic income, and tax relief for small businesses. Our health uh, experts and out of uh, our political system over the last while about uh, about vaccinations has really penetrated uh, with public opinion. So anything that we ask about vaccines tends to have very high public le- levels of public support. So for example, in this instance, three quarters of the people that we interviewed, 74%, uh, support mandatory vaccination for public facing workers. And that's just not healthcare workers or teachers. We're talking about um, you know, transit workers, servers, grocery store clerks, people feel that one way to uh, make sure that they're protected uh, when they inca- when they deal with people who are are facing them uh, in some of these occupations is that uh, to make sure that they are vaccinated. But you take 25 percent of the Canadian population being on the other side of this and you multiply it by 38 million or maybe just reduce it to the number of adults that we have in the population. And that's still a lot of people, but that doesn't represent the vast majority of the Canadian population, the 74% who actually believe that we should have mandatory vaccination for public facing workers. Well, I think, you know, in places like Atlantic Canada and Quebec, uh, first of all, in Quebec, there's a certain amount of controversy associated with, uh, uh, you know, for example, hacking in the, in, in the uh, passport system there. So if they get that straightened out, I think Quebec's numbers will rise as well. Atlantic Canada seems to be the part of the country that feels that it's got through this thing easier than than uh, than other parts of the country. So when it comes to uh, um, you know moving beyond the way that they've been doing it, which is kind of the sealed Atlantic approach to uh, to managing the virus, um, uh, you, you, you just you just don't see support levels as high. But in most of the country, we're talking about you know percentages over sixty, and in British Columbia, seventy nine percent. Uh, supporting mandatory vaccination or or passport uh, a passport system for vaccination. So, um, you know, quite frankly, these are these are good numbers for people who are advocating for that. Yes, there's strong uh, views on the other side of this, but uh, the majority is with the people who are moving towards mandatory vaccination and passport systems. Uh, one of the things that uh, this election campaign started with was a real focus on drawing a difference between. Uh, the, the leaders, uh, particularly Aaron O'Toole and the rest of the leaders, uh, especially uh, Justin Trudeau and their approach to mandatory vaccination. Uh, but what you can see is that pretty consistently across the parties, uh, majorities do support mandatory vaccinations and do support pass being, pass, uh, passports for vaccination. Uh, so even conservative supporters, while they're lower than supporters for other parties on those questions, even majorities of conservative supporters think mandatory vaccination and, uh, and uh, vaccine passports are good ideas.